remote village in the mountains of Guatemala. It was El Chupacabra. He took Jose into the woods. It's the Chupacabra. After it. Is everyone okay? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, bugger. You will not resist us. If you resist, we will hurt you. What's that? Doctor, I heard something in my head. Telepathic speech, eh? Interesting. But what's more interesting is the sound you're making with your throats. You all have metal devices on your necks. Which begs the question, what for? There must be a reason, apparently. Let's think. Oh, I've got it! It's to help you breathe! Of course! You can't breathe the atmosphere on this planet, so you have to filter it. Oh, clearly not from around here, are you? You seem to be more observant than an average human. This would suggest that you are not from this planet either. Touché. Uh, but that's just a phrase, by the way, not the name of my planet. Come to think of it, there is actually a planet called Touché, but that's beside the point. Now, please answer me this. Who are you? We have no name. Not anymore. This is not our original form. And soon, we will be something else entirely. Well, all species are gradually evolving and changing over time, but but judging by the way you say it, I it would seem that you mean something other than ordinary evolution. Our species is no longer capable of the natural evolutionary process. We lost that ability. You mean... Yes. The time war. We lost our planet to the Dalek Empire. Oh, you poor things. I'm so sorry. Look, I don't know what this time war is, or, or what these Daleks are, but although you may have been through a lot, please, please tell me this. Where is my son? See for yourself. Hey! the boy for? And why do you completely drain the local villagers' livestock of blood? When the Daleks invaded our planet, they used chemical weapons to render it uninhabitable. We were severely mutated by this onslaught, and our lifespans are now getting shorter and shorter. And what does mutilating victims have to do with this? See for yourself. We are about to enter the next phase of the experiments! What is that thing? Embryos. Thousands and thousands of embryos. Oh my god! That's the reason for it all. You're trying to reconstruct something as good as your original unmutated forms by mixing genetic traits from other species with those of your own. In other words, hybridization. You're literally trying to grow back your lives. This is true! But what about all the blood you take? Mammalian red blood cells don't have any nucleus, you know, so they aren't a good source of DNA. We take the proteins in the blood cells, reconstruct them, and use them as nutrients for the embryos. 
But what about the human race? They're not exactly going to take kindly to you abducting their children. Also, you really should ask someone before you decide to populate an already inhabited planet. But we do not want this world. We reach this planet by connecting a rift in time on our world to the one here with a rift device. But this home is only temporary. Unfortunately, we cannot leave this planet because our rift device is broken. Let me guess, you need help to fix it. But no human technology at this point in time can help you. You know about the time war, and you can build machines that can tear through rifts in time, so that makes you one of the highest species. You need help from someone who's as advanced as you are. Correct! Now we will begin the next phase of the experiment. 